violation sir kay uh, Admiral Carlo. Uh, ano ba yun sir? Wala kayo nakikita sa violation based on the Senate Security Council regarding the rules and regulations. And of course, papunta na rin sa bakit continue si Relief niya? Ano ba yung... Uh, bakit? Ano yung reason bakit siya na-relief kung wala naman siya <coughs> First and foremost, he filed his leave three last month. It just so happened that the approval coincided just before the release of the fake and malicious narrative from the other side. It is replacement. Admiral Torres was initially placed there in acting capacity, but because of the sensitive nature of the position commander of Western Command, the AFP deemed it necessary to have a regular commander. Hence, Admiral Torres was designated as the regular commander of Western Command. This would also allow Admiral Carlos to be able to face all the issues the smear campaign raised against him. So he was rotated to GHQ to give him the time. Sir, kasama rin ba yan na, sa consideration yung para hindi man lang magkaroon ng duda dun sa position na yun? I mean, during the time na gumugulong yung investigation. Kaya kailangan pull out. It was an administrative decision to afford the Commander Western Command the full flexibility to act in full capacity. Not, not in acting capacity with a dual job as the Commander Naval Education Training Doctrines Command. So your public opinion about Op 6, uh, he's still there in Michigan, parang hindi nag-factor like niya? No, again, I mentioned it's in no way related to all the issues being raised. It just so happened this leave was filed before, and the approval was just before the release of all those malicious narratives. Sir, is it typical for a military officer to have a direct line and direct means of communication with uh, a diplomat, a uh, defense attaché in this instance? According to the Admiral in the Senate inquiry, it was his discretion. He was trying to operationalize the guidance of the Commander-in-Chief to de-escalate, to reduce tensions. But sir, is it in general? Does this always happen? Uh, generals, uh, Philippine generals have a direct line with counterparts, diplomats essentially, of other countries? In, even in international practices, adversaries communicate. We leave it up to the appropriate government agency on the appropriate action to be conducted. Yes, we are treating the initial report as unverified or unsubstantiated. We checked and we're still trying to find other corroborating reports to that matter. Yes, but so far the report is still on its own. It's still unverified or unsubstantiated. Unsubstantiated, unverified report. That's how we treat it as of now. Sir, sir may monitor po si Mr. Ray Powell na pag, well, in 24 hours po, nagpadala daw po ang China, ang pinakamalaking sa kanila na Coast Guard. Baka may monitor po ang Philippine Navy doon sa Scarborough yes. Shoal daw, sir? Yes, it is 50 nautical miles from Scarborough Shoal, from Bajo de Masinlok. What does this mean? Sir, ano pong ginawang action po ng Philippine Navy? At saka anong ibig sabihin naman, sir? The actions, the response will be at the NTFWPS level. It's a Chinese Coast Guard ship, and there will be appropriate response from the NTF, most likely the Philippine Coast Guard. Sir, if you now, you monitor pa rin po ba natin yung 165-meter UTG vessel doon sa Scarborough Shoal as of today? Yes, as of this morning, it was 50 nautical miles from Bajo de Masinlok. As of this morning.